Hi, welcome to my Google App Inventor tutorial series. And today I'm responding to a question which I received from Crook IDK, who asked how to set up a system where if you click a button once, a piece of text will appear, and if you click the button again for a second time, the text will disappear. And unfortunately, there's no one click method to achieving this, but it is fairly simple to make a system that does this. So the first thing you want to do is drag two buttons onto screen one. And basically, what I'm going to show you is that if you make button 1 invisible, you can see that button 2 goes up and fills the space that it used to be in. And this is very useful because in this system we're going to make, only one of the buttons at any one time is going to be visible, which means effectively they're in exactly the same position. And we can make them identical by entering the same text in each one. So I'm going to change the text to click in both of them. And I'm just going to display the invisible components in the viewer and so you can see they're exactly the same and as only one of them is going to be visible at any one time they're basically going to be indistinguishable but they're going to carry out two different functions as you'll see so next drag a text label underneath and a text label is just a method of inputting text without the user being able to edit the text and I'm just going to make that honeycomb 3.0 and you want to make that invisible so we go on to the blocks editor now and we say that when button 2 is clicked because this is the one that is going to be visible when you start up the app as you can see so we're going to say that when button 2 is clicked we want to set its visibility to false and we also want to set the visibility of button 1 to true so we're basically switching to showing button 1. And also at the same time we want to set the visibility of text label 1 to true to show that text. And then we're basically just going to do the reverse for button 1. It's as simple as that really. So just do the inverse. Uh, we want to set its visibility to false when it's clicked. And uh, then obviously set the visibility of button 2 to true. And because we're basically clicking the button for the second time, we also want to set the visibility of label 1 to false. And that's pretty much it. If we just connect to the emulator now. And I can just demonstrate to you that it actually works. And there you go, you only see one button when you start up the app. When you click it, the text appears. When you click it again, the text disappears. And you can do this as many times as you want, and that's pretty much it. So thank you for watching.